everything in Clash of Clans right now is 50% off. So today we're spending $3,000 on a brand new account to see how far we can get with everything being cheap. Let's get into this. All right, loading on to the game. First building in and it wants me to gem. We are not gemming. We're going to be a frugal gemmer here. There we go. We're ready doing our first attack as well. This is an easy game. Then the game made me gem a builder hut, but that's value. However, the game made me place elixir collector, elixir storage, gold storage, and wanted me to gem them all. Heck no, we're waiting those timers out. We're only spending gems on our own terms. But that mindset did not last long. I am not finishing these barbarians. <laughs> oh, we're literally gonna wait out this seven minutes. I caved. I'm caving. I can't wait that seven minutes. We're even being frugal with the barbarians. We've ten left. It's our gemmer account, bro. Sixty-nine, dude. Can already upgrade the town hall to level two. He wants me to gem that? No. All right, now that we're Town Hall 2, we have the shop, we can gem 3k gems. Use that code BT1 if you're gemming though, want to support me, guys. It helps me make these crazy videos. One. It's already asking me for confirmation. <laughs> yes, I want to do this. Two. All right, the first 1,000 gems have been purchased. Let's get to work here. Before we go further, I'm going to give a shout out to today's Swag channel sponsor, Razer. Razer just released their new Razer Cortex Games Rewards app, and the app features weekly seasonal events, a game reward offer wall, which features a wide range of new and upcoming mobile games where you can win Razer Silver. And then you can redeem your Razer Silver for prizes like Razer mice, keyboards, headsets, backpacks, merch, and much more. The app also lets you boost your gaming experience by activating gaming mode. This week, from November 17th to November 23rd, Razer will be giving away the new Razer Death Adder V2 Hyperspeed to the top Razer Silver earner. So don't miss out. Razer Cortex is an awesome way to get the very best out of your mobile gaming experience. Download the app using my link in the description down below and join us playing your favorite games, earning rewards, and of course, having fun. We love Razer. First order of business, unlock all my builders. And I think I'm actually going to get this builder pack. Because <laughs> we're up to $1,003, but that's value, man. And we're getting the rest of them. Half of our village right now is just builder huts. So you know you're a gemmer. Oh, level two. These builders coming in handy. Building's about to finish right there. Value. And we can get to town all three, but we actually don't have enough gold. It's two gems, but it's not worth it in my eyes. We need to do an attack. Look at the loot available. A thousand. I'm actually a noob. I need to take out the defenses first, but... But we have got enough gold from our first attack. Saving gems where we can. Town all three where we go. Now we are going to gem that and we hit level three. Now we just got to place all of the new buildings as well. It actually took quite a bit of time to place everything. Then we still wanted to try and save more gems and farm gold for upgrades. I mean, it's not like we have 137,000 gems to spend. So we got to save some where we can, right? So we did some attacks and those actually did not go great. So we decided to open the shop and saw this crazy offer. Four million gold as a level town all three yes please only two dollars say no more clash of class four million gold that's the town all three let's go all right with all this easily get to town hall finish it that's fine town hall four so we're just gonna go and place everything that's new now here's where we just wanted to rush our town hall to see how far four million gold would take us we hit town hall five placed everything quick hit town hall six placed everything and hit town hall seven Town all seven, let's go. We actually have the gold pass now. Gives you builder boost, research boost, all these boosts. We're buying that gold pass. So now we're gonna gem it to get these builder boosts. So that'll save us a lot of gems in the long run. Now with the gold pass all gemmed up, we had 20% off building times on top of the 50% off event. That's value. So we placed some more buildings, finally got the clan castle, more walls, and our first hero. Finally, we have a hero. The Barbarian King, which means we can already get to town hall eight and i still haven't even burned through all my gold yet there we go now we're at town hall eight and we placed the rest of the town hall eight buildings but shortly after finally our two dollar offer ran out but we still got this so we had to upgrade storages but my gold finally ran out to get to town hall nine that two dollar offer was op the town hall nine let's go and we still have 132,000 gems, man. Now, here's where we wanted to switch things up again. We wanted to see if 132,000 gems would be enough to max out a Town Hall 9 base. 
we got our next hero, the Archer Queen. And then we maxed out our storages so we could hold 8 million each. And we went on upgrading and we did the barracks first. <laughs> now we can hold up to 8 million of each. So now we should just claim the rest of the pass, I think. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's just go in order. We have 125,000 gems. See how much we have at the end. So we got 10,000 gems just for the barracks. Then we upgraded the archer towers, and that took about 12,000 gems to max them. Next, we upgraded the cannons, which only took around 7k gems. Elixir and gold collectors took around 6,500 gems each. The dark elixir drill took around 9,000 gems. All the barracks took only 5k gems. The mortars took 10k gems as well. Dark elixir storages took 4k. Expos only took 4k as well. And we still had 49,000 gems after all of that. So we continued on. Finishing the air defenses took 11,000 gems. Wizard tower took 11,000 as well. Air Supers took 4,500. And those are actually higher level than my main town hall 11 account now. But the clan castles took 2,500 gems to max. The Teslas came tied for the most expensive with the Archer Towers, which was 12,000 gems. And that was actually wild to me because I didn't think they were that much to upgrade, but the Bomb Tower in the Laboratory only took 1,000 gems. Spell Factory took 1,500 gems. And the Dark Spell Factory took 2,000. 30 minutes of upgrading later and a ton of gems. Our defenses for our town hall 9 were totally maxed out. We have spent it all. This is all that we have left to get and all we did in upgrade was traps obviously walls stay tuned to the end because we're gonna spend a thousand dollars on just walls and then we didn't do heroes and then we didn't finish the dark barracks that's pretty insane now we at least got to make a base And there's my 20 minute base. I know it's nothing special. But now that was only the first $1,000 of gems. We still had a lot to go. So we gemmed up our next 1,000 of gems. Use code PT1 if you want to see more videos like this. And we continued on gemming. 140,000 more gems. Let's go. First order of business. Max out the only troop you'll ever need. The dragons. Look at the majestic beast. Now it was time to do our first attack, but matchmaking was taking forever as we had zero trophies and we're like a max Town Hall 9. But then we found this Town Hall 8 and tried to beat it with only one dragon. Oh, someone else is a dirty gemmer. Will my dragon destroy this guy? He has no air defense. He has barely any air defenses. See if my one dragon will destroy him. It will not. Oh, a two. What will three? Your town hall 10. Now that we're town hall 10, look at all these offers. We're getting the town hall 10 pack. Look at this. Level two inferno, you say less. Immediately get an inferno tower and another expo. Dude, and we're getting this hammer jam. That is 20 million of each. <laughs> look at the storages, man. We're gonna get the dark elixir one. We'll get the Rune of Gold one, Clash Fest Scenery one. Look at our scenery and look at all of our resources after those offers, man. We're already going to Town Hall 11. Jeez, dude. Right away, we placed down the notable stuff like the Grand Warden, another Expo, the OP Eagle Artillery, along with everything else. Bought this $20 Town Hall 11 offer and went straight to Town Hall 12. Town yeah. Hall 12. And town, your Town Hall now fires back at attackers. That's so cool. You can upgrade the weapon to make it more powerful. That's epic, dude. Giga Tesla. That's so interesting that Town Halls have stars now. Okay. We're getting the Town Hall 12 pack too. It's a place. I don't even, I literally have no idea what this is. A workshop? So it builds siege machines? Okay. Then we can place a level three inferno. Say less. I don't even know what a siege machine does, guys. So we're finishing this and going into an attack. Yo, this guy is like max as well. I have no idea what the siege machine does. Just bust through walls, dude. That's crazy. Well, we got destroyed. It was crazy. If we would have won that, we'd have got 57 trophies. Then we placed the rest of the things you get at Town Hall 12 and rushed straight to Town Hall 13. On to Town Hall 13. And Town Hall 13's defense was a Giga Inferno, so we immediately upgraded that to max. But the rest of what you get for Town Hall 13 felt a bit lackluster in terms of how many things you get. But nonetheless, the Scattershot and the Royal Champion are OP. And then we saw this insane offer in the shop. Dude, we're, we're getting this Town Hall 13 pack. Oh my gosh. We get a royal, level five royal champion and a scatter shot. Look at we have 56 million elixir. We're a royal champion. All heroes done. Placing the scatter shots. I don't even know what this thing does, dude. Oh, so it's kind of like a penny shot. Okay. Get our other scatter shot done. 
All right, we're on to Town Hall 14. Finishing with the Book of Books. Town Hall upgraded. Let's go. We're getting, we're getting the, the Town Hall 14, 14 offer as well, well, which gives us the pet house, dude. <laughs> Let me offer you a tour of the house, pet. Okay, I'm good. Let's go. Show me. Pets are powerful companions that fight alongside the heroes you battle with. Okay. And a mini pack of dog. Let's go. An electric owl. These are so cool, dude. And with our crazy amount of resources, we upgraded all our heroes to 25. Upgraded our dragons some more to get ready for our next attack. But in the middle of maxing our dragons, we needed more storage space to gem them up. So we thought of the biggest brain play we could make at the time. Max all of our storages before we used our runes. We have maxed out our storages. So we can hold 20 million. So we can actually make the most value of using our runes. Look at that, dude. That's called That's value. <laughs> This is what max dragons look like. Jeez, dude, that's so cool. I'm so curious to see this. We have dragons. Grand Warden out. World Champion with her pet. Barbarian King with the pet. I don't know what the pets really do. We have the Pekka Dog going at it. We seem to be doing okay. Or not really. I mean, we got our first dub being a Town Hall 14. Nice trophy count. <laughs> Same as our age, right? <laughs> So yes, we recorded this before Town Hall 15 was out, but now we upgraded the rest of our buildings as much as we could to be the same level, upgraded our heroes more, and now it was finally time to spend the last of all of our resources, runes, and money to see what level we could get our walls to. Time to get some more gems. All right, the final counter, 3,002 spent. First, let's catch up everything though, same level. Now we are all set up. I accidentally went too far with two archer towers. Rune of gold. We are going to buy some wall rings and, and let's, let's begin, begin the, satisfaction the satisfaction of walls. Of walls. Wow. A whole row costs 17 million 600. That is insane, dude. I can't even do a whole row to get it to level 13. We at least have to get this whole row to max level. And there we go. Three walls short. Just to go to a level 14 wall is this much. But we do have one last rune here. A dark elixir rune. We're using it. Upgrade some heroes. All we did was upgrade the royal champion a couple levels. <laughs> now all we got to do is make a final base and do a couple last attacks to get these last few walls. So here is my masterpiece. I didn't realize I never finished the Tesla, by the way. I'm at Expo. Oh so no. And I totally forgot that we could actually upgrade builders' huts to do damage. But we're out of gems. So our final attack is a fellow rush base. <laughs> Letting the world champion go in, get some work done. Basically, I'm trying to take out the eagle artillery. Oh, that bomb shot is crazy, dude. I'm trying to take out the eagle artillery. If we are successful, that's huge. Almost. Siege machine going out, bro. I still think it's so cool. And that pet with the bounce shots. Eagle artillery's done. Dragon's coming in. Again, I still don't have spells. I'm sorry. Grand Warden trying to follow behind. Torture Queen coming out. I totally forgot to get Electro Dragons, by the way, though. But these dragons are still really cool. Electro Dragons is would just destroy this base, but I still think our regular Jagas are going to do okay. So there we go. We got another win. Decent amount of loot and a three-star bonus. I feel like we got incredibly far. You thought the video was done? No, we had to get a Town Hall 15 for the thumbnail. So we spent a few hundred more dollars on gems, the walls, the new defenses, getting Town Hall 15, and here's the final product. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. We love you. OBG1, please. I don't go broke.